any great four child when asked what is the center of the solar system will give you an answer the sun the sun is the center of our solar system but what is the center of the cosmos we know that our solar system is just part of a bigger cosmos ano ang gitna nasaan ang gitna ng buong sandibutan the answer can be everywhere because philosophers say there is really no center for the cosmos the center of the cosmos can be any person the center of the cosmos can be any city the center of the cosmos can be anywhere the cosmos has no center and being assured that there is really no center, pwede tayong palakihin ang ating mga magulang na sinasabi sa atin, you are the love of my life. Pwede tayong palakihin ang ating mga magulang at sabihin sa atin, you are my wished for child. Pwede tayong palakihin ng ating mga magulang at sabihin sa atin, you are the center of my universe at naniniwala tayo. At aawitan pa tayo ng may crush sa atin. You are the love of my life. You give me reason to live. Lalo ka pang nakumbinsi na talagang napakalaki kong tao and I am the center of the universe. Okay ba yun? Okay po. Sapagkat tayong lahat ay isinilang na meron tayong konting paniniwala na ako talaga yung center. Kasi nung ipanganak tayo, konting iyak lang, takbo na yung nanay. Kahit gabi, kahit pagod, kahit naglalaba, marinig lang na umiiyak, tatakbo na at chechiken para tumigil sa pag-iyak. Titing na ng lampin, titing na ng gatas, titing na ng hinihigaan, baka may surot, baka may lamok, baka may ipis, walang dadapo, kasi this is the love of my life. Pero, sa paglipas ng panahon, at ikaw ay baby na nasundan, makikita mo na hindi pala ako yung love. Kasi nung mayroong sumunod, ay siya na yung love. Nung mayroong sumunod, siya na yung basta umiyak, ay tatakbo. Ako, namamaos na ako ng kaiyak, walang pumapansin sa akin. Bakit nagkaganito? At, mag-iisip tayo, mag-iisip, na sasabihin natin, siguro hindi naman talaga ako yung love of their life. Wala talaga akong kwenta. I am not lovable. I have to prove to be lovable. I have to prove to be worthy. I have to prove to be deserving. I have to prove to be honorable. I have to achieve. I have to be champion. I have to run. I have to train. Bakit? Para bumalik sa akin yung attention. Pero, balik ako, hindi po totoo yun. Because, we are all important. Where does our importance come from? From the reality that I am an image of God. I am an image of God created in His likeness and that is where my importance comes from. Ang tukso ng demonyo sa Ibanghelyo ay tukso ng worthlessness. Ano ang nangyari bago nag-ayuno ang Panginoon? He was baptized in the Jordan. And a voice was heard, This is my beloved Son. This is the love of my life. 
This is the joy of my soul in whom my favor rests. This is my favorite. He heard that. And then, what happened? He was hungry for 40 days, having eaten nothing. Ano yung tukso sa kanya? Unang tukso. Love of my life ka? Favorite ka? E gutom ka. Ganyan ba yung paborito? Ginugutom? Ganyan pa yung paborito? Walang laman ng tiyan? Ang paborito, binubusog. Ang paborito, inaalagaan. Ang paborito, binibigyan ng lahat ng hilig. Eh ikaw, ang dami-dami mong hilig. Walang ibinigay sa iyo. Pagkatapos, naniniwala ka pa. The first temptation was the temptation to believe God really loves you. Does God really love me? If God really loves me, why is my stomach empty? If God really loves me, why do I have no food? If God really loves me, why am I living in emptiness? And the Lord answered and said, God loves me in emptiness or in fullness. God loves me in food or in hunger because the love of God for me does not depend on my emptiness of my stomach or the fullness of my stomach. I am loved. Pangalawang tukso, it is still the temptation of being worthless. Walang kwenta. The devil tempted the Lord and said, You are the beloved son, sabi sa Jordan. You are the beloved son, are you sure? If you are the beloved son, why are you nobody? Wala mo pumapansin sa'yo. Nagdadasal ka, sinasagot ka ba? Kinakausap mo, sumasagot ba? You are a big, fat, nobody. You are not loved. And the Lord's answer to the devil is, I am loved because my worth does not depend on what other people say. My worth does not depend on jail or freedom. My worth depends on God loves me and I carry His image in my soul. And the third temptation was, kung talagang mahal ka, eh bakit ordinary ka? Di ba ang mahal VIP? Eh bakit ordinary ka? Kung talagang mahal ka, bakit wala kang elevator paakyat sa bundok? Kung, walang, kung talagang mahal ka, bakit nakabas ka? Wala kang Mercedes Benz. Kung talagang mahal ka, bakit walang VIP treatment sa'yo? And the Lord rebutted again and said, I am loved. I can ride a bus. I can be ordinary. And in my ordinariness, God loves me. My dear brothers and sisters, there is the COVID pandemic, but there is the COVID pandemic of worthlessness. Am I really loved? Kung mahal ako, bakit di ako pinapansin? Kung mahal ako, bakit hindi ako pinapakain? Kung mahal ako, bakit parang tinitiis ako? Kung mahal ako, bakit yung iba VIP, ako ordinary? Bakit ganon? And in this pandemic of worthlessness, people have killed themselves and said, Siguro pagpatay na ako, may papansin na rin sa akin. Brothers and sisters, suicide does not answer worthlessness. Killing yourself does not answer worthlessness. The answer to worthlessness is, kapag ikay tinanong, mahal ka ba talaga? Sabihin mo, Tiyak yun. Paano ka nakakatiyak? 
Sagot mo, basta. Basta. Tiyak ako, mahal ako ng Diyos. Mukha akong ordinary. Hindi ako VIP. Big fat nobody. Nagugutom ako. Wala akong pera. Pero, kamukha ko ang Diyos. Yun ay sapat na. Mahal ka pa talaga ng Diyos? Oo. Patunayan mo, basta, alam ko, kasi, nilikha niya akong katulad niya. At wala ng blessing, wala ng love, na hihigit pa doon. Kamukha ko siya. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please look for Father Sok on YouTube and I hope you can subscribe to the channel. There I can meet you with more reflections, with more homilies, and then we can interact. And you can also tell me the questions in your heart, the questions in your mind, which I hope I can also answer in the same channel. It is not technology that brings us together. It is the Lord. It is not technology that has brought us together. It is our love for the Lord and our love for the church. May the Spirit continue to work in all of us. God bless you.